Hello and good morning. Here goes the end of or the starting of day seven of our test on the Volkswagen e-Golf batteries. So this is the state of charge or the voltage that we have right now on the batteries. 28.6 and I think we're going to end this test because we started having something coming out. Sunshine. The sun started coming up, so let's check this out. Started having some blue skies up there. And see how everything is working now. So let's go back and check our charge controller and see what we're bringing in right now. So I will not continue with this test if the sun is come the sun just started coming up and that will not be a precise um um thing to do which um is going to be like cheating because i don't want that to happen we want to make sure these batteries were drained and shut down but um now the sun is almost coming up as we were trying to show what is coming in this charge controller um, on a cloudy or bad day and this is what is happening right now so we bring in power and we bring in power it doesn't count to this test if it's bringing power like this it can grow significantly and it will change the one old dynamics on our test so I decided to pull the strings off this test and this is we're gonna just take it six days survival out of without charge if i calculate it or we can make another video um how much what we put back into the battery within with this um kind of weather approximately 300 watt that's it and you guys been seeing three amps six amps total for a day but this is what it is now. We're going to stop the test and we're going to just call it a six day period without sun and how the Volkswagen e-Golf battery batteries perform. Stay tuned. The e-Golf batteries, they're still strong and ready to go. And they'll be working so hard to get this test all done the way we want it to be done but you know the weather gave up and um, now the Sun is taking over again over the situation and try to balance this entire warfare we have with this craziness but anyway now we have a full assurance that without Sun we can able to run our home for approximately, approximately, I can emphasize it, five days consecutively, which is six days. One thing we have to learn on this test is not how much power you drain. It's not a show off. It's how much power you maintain, how much power you cut off from using. How efficient you're gonna be, how effective your machine's gonna be, how you're gonna train yourself in time of crisis like this. How can you execute it? It's not like turning all things, everything, trying to show off, trying to drain the batteries. You're losing that battle. You have to be more efficient, you have to be more uh, wise, you have to be more stable. You have to, that mind set, you have to have it. It's not like how much power I can pull from this. It's how much, the less power I can able to take from my system. And the most important, the most uh, um, uh, um, device you have to run you know, to sustain your family, yourself, and helping others that really needs power. 
that's the one old concept. But it's like not bragging what power you can take, you know, trying to live in a normal life. That's not how it's supposed to be. That's a show off. You cannot try to show, well, the power is gone. I can power everything. That's the time you have to be aware. Or that's the time you have to be careful because you don't know how long this problem is going to continue. It's a strategy. You have to have a strategy. You, we don't predict uh, uh, um, nature. Well, you see how the weather people trying to predict nature. Sometimes they turn up wrong. You see, it's only God that knows. We don't know. So we can assume or be very close, not that close because it can change. So this is what it is. We can think today is like this and all of a sudden it's going to change. And that's what happened here. So guys, this is the one old deal. You got to be careful. This is just a lesson being taught. And this is just um, a, a thing to prove to you guys, to show you. If that was a crisis or very, very um, hard within that time, tornadoes and whatever, and it's going to be totally blackout or anything, I would have made it up to six days for before I, 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 um, I can able to be evacuated or something. Or maybe someone, if there was a rescue team or searching for people, survival, I would have still been alive, I suppose. By trying to power my refrigerator, fridge, and a little bit of light, which is um, on the uh, DC side, which I have another battery bank, that will keep me because... That will keep me and my family safe. We keep ourselves. We have food. We have little burners, you know, which um, we can able to utilize. Let me show you something here. If I have to show you a little bit I prepare, I'm prepared a little bit. Well, this is what it is. I'm not going to say I can go for years or months and months. So you got to have something like this. A 12-volt system, one and a half quart slow cooker. You can have something like this because I have batteries. I That's what I was building, the 12-volt systems. Because if it comes to a weather that was we were having, and we 12-volt system would be the answer. 48 volts cannot survive because when you look at the, the charge controller, the voltage is coming in is higher, but it cannot go in the batteries. But if that voltage you have, and it's a 12 volt system, it will be a great conversion. Okay, this is a DC cooker, huh? A slow cooker. It's a 12 volt, and you can use on a cigarette lighter. If you remember my portable generators, okay. Well, you can do so much thing, and this thing is really cool. It has a ceramic um, thing inside, which is really good for. You know, ceramics, they hold a lot of uh, heat. It's just like clay. It's a clay thing. So it holds a lot of heat. And check this out. We only going to be drawing only 8 amps, which is a 96 watt. And it has a 5 foot cord. And that's what we're going to be drawing. Compared to while we were running, this guy, this guy, most of the time, you guys were seeing like 100 watts, like what is coming out from the batteries right now. It's a huge conversion taking, this is just from the the AC side. So if you look at it on the DC side, we are taking more power because DC is coming up from this. DC, the battery is down there and converted all the way to AC. So all those batteries, we are taking more power than the ac side you see what i'm saying here this is the reason you think we still survive but if we have to take these um, measures that we just um i'm talking about right now using dc to dc appliances trust me i have dc to dc appliances i can able to run my house for a little bit longer because I can just shut down the inverters because I don't want the, the, the conversion. And it is uh, 
um, inefficient because you have to take DC to AC and you lose inefficiency from there on both sides. Okay, so if I have to go through this, this guy right here, so it's less, less, less. What does it say? The comfort to your home. For the road, the general travel, merchandise, or the auto accessories offers convenience, safety, comfort, and leisure. It's a great value. See, I didn't say that. Look at that. That's why I was trying to point out to you the keywords right there. So I can still survive. But I will do a review of these. Uh, this uh, stuff, you can make different things here. I'll make a, a review of this and um, you tell me what you want to do when it comes to surviving. But to be honest with you, I have some great machines here I can able to utilize anytime. DC, it has a switch right here. It takes only on a cigarette lighter 8 amps, which is about 93 approximately. And you can able to use this guy. You can put it in a dishwasher and everything. Go and put this port back in refrigerator and save the food. So, guys, as long as food is has already been cooked, you can able to cook something really hot and wrap it with blankets. I've done this before. Wrap with three, four huge blankets. The food is always warm. As long as it's already cooked, it's not going to have any bacteria, nothing. The food is always being cooked. And you wrap this one, the food is going to be just warm for the following day, maybe two days. I've done this before. I've survived with this. I'm a survivor. I know how to go about things. I don't just uh, talk about a lot of things about surviving things, but I'm preparing people to understand what's the consequences and what's the benefits and how to survive in a little um, crisis or huge crisis. Cigarette lighter, I can plug this thing to my portable generator and got a lot of panels, put them out there and get them running for the sake of the 12 volt system and you can still make some amps and watts. Okay, like that situation the other day, we were running 24 volts here. A 12 volt system can still make it really, really cool. So that's why you don't just abandon the 12 volt systems, have them as a backup. I've been using the lights, DC to DC, and it works just fine. So this is what is coming right now. Like and subscribe. JW Solar USA. I love you guys all. Bye. On the other side, I have a 12 volt system here. You can see this is my newest um, um, midnight kid. This is the white version. And we are putting 40 watts into this batteries i'm trickle charging see that this is the one used in the marine like the boats you got a, bre a breaker right here dc breaker which is a 20 amp and you remember this 12 volt system i built and that's uh mentioned out on the videos there's some labels here and it's right now it's turned off i can buy this guy nothing but check this out when I turn this on. There you go. Remember that one? So the batteries are still sitting there. 15.3. So I've been using this for that crisis. I was telling you on this weather, it didn't go anywhere. That's a lithium polymer batteries in here. Remember when I was building this system? Lithium polymer. So, I still have the Wanderer here. I disconnected that because uh, PWM, 
can give me a 5 volt 2 amps charge on a USB but these are the specifications here if you do remember sorry for the camera shake there you go okay so this is the thing and I'm trickle charging these batteries my Panasonic batteries and the LGs that just um, I was doing um, videos of there you go so I already linked them these batteries all have BMS built in them so I got this boss bar right here connecting the batteries is a block right here it's all parallel the camping tape and whatever comes in here likewise the new negative over there and I still have my batteries down here I haven't touched the top band batteries still waiting I think four more so that I can complete another 20 right here so that will give me the exact configuration like this one these are the LFP 3.2 volt 25 amp hours so I need more the battery is waiting for they came from overseas and um, it's not enough just 16 I need a 24 but this is what it is it's just trickle charging these batteries so it's easy it's nice connection right here all the solar coming in and all there's a battery and there's a, a, a solar right there I'm trying to label it there you go and the battery side here so the center tap is the the load that's for the lights so there you go just have some little panels I throw on the deck right there so they can keep them trickle charge those are the panels sitting right there. It's a 250 watt um, Renogy solar panels. Uh, five amps each, 21 volt. Open circuit. So I'm not expecting much from that, but I just want the batteries to be trickle charge. You can see from the um, the deck, you can see all those posts where giving the panels um, kind of um, shade. So, here we go. You already put in two amps. No kilowatts yet. Okay, like I said, it just sun started coming a little bit. So, this is what it is. Like and subscribe. This is your generator here. I built is still running so I can use the cigarette lighter right there and plug that 12 volt um, slow cooker this guy right here then I can make my meals and I can the lights on we can make soup we can do probably like um, beans look it's unbelievable right yeah, if those fans are sitting in a kind of shade like that, we can open cans of beans and just warm them up. Beans got a lot of protein on them, and you can survive with all these stuff going on. Like and subscribe, JW Solar USA. Just a tip for you how to survive in a critical situation tornado, hurricanes. As long as you still have your portable panels, you can take them out. I, I still have a flexible panels as well. And you can set them there and get your battery bank and just keep prepping. And if you end up having a little, maybe Honda EU 2000 generator, maybe a 1000 or Yamaha, the quiet, quiet ones, then yeah, you are good to go. So just know when to start the generator and put in more into the batteries and the excess you cook in and do all the other big cook you want to do 
and saved that and wrapped everything on um, thermal blankets and wrap everything with huge uh, installation stuff and it's gonna keep your food for days and before you're gonna eat that stuff you and your family bye for now food for thought jw solar usa in minnesota bye for now like and subscribe